This video assumes that you have watched and completed the how to take a matting template video and that the frame is in place. Before you start the matting installation, here is a list of items you will need. A nylon hammer, a bossing stick, a scraper, a screwdriver, dustpan and brush, knee pads, personal protection equipment, matting order confirmation form. Open the packaging carefully and locate the matting order confirmation form detailing contents of the pack. This is in a yellow envelope. Check the contents are complete as per the delivery note. Look at the matting layout drawings. Check that each panel is clearly marked with numbers and matches the details shown on the matting order confirmation form before any installation commences. Where possible, prior to the installation, lay the matting panels out in a clean, flat, dry area to check that they fit together correctly and match the plan that is supplied. Locate the T-shaped divider bars and ensure the direction of travel is correct. Before commencing the mat installation, the mat well preparation should be completed. Make sure the subfloor is flat, dry and free from all contaminants and the perimeter frame level is suitable to install the gauge of entrance mat supplied. Check the depth considerations have been given to make sure that the internal doors will open once the mat is installed. Irregularities in the mat well substrate should be made suitable prior to the mat installation to avoid premature wear or damage to the mat during use. Check the door opening clearance is suitable to accept the entrance mat and that any other obstructions near the door have been accounted for. For example, poles and electronic barriers that may not have been there when the mat was first taken as a template. Individual panels are linked together using a jointing hinge. Simply locate this into the aluminium base on the opposing panel using the nylon hammer and bossing stick to ensure the panels link together. The mat should be laid so that pedestrians can walk across the ribs in the direction of traffic. Install the panels left side mod 1 with right side mod 1, left side mod 2 with right side mod 2, and so on. Repeat for all the modules. As you insert each module, tap it with a nylon hammer and a knocking bar, leaving the labels on each panel until the end of the process. Mats exceeding 2 meters wide may be supplied with divider bars. When provided for installation, they must be placed between panel sections and along the direction of travel prior to fitting the matting panels. Highlighted on the matting order confirmation form are the locations to fit the divider bars. Divider bars must be installed to provide a 1mm clearance to ensure the matting panel can be cleanly placed into position. Ensure the divider bars are fitted into the prepared mat well base, with the top edges of the divider bars flush with the top of the mat well frame. Ensure that the mat will fit in the mat well in the correct direction. Check the front to back clearance in the direction of traffic, and where the PVC edging strips are included, 20mm or 40mm, ensure that they are fitted along the front and back edges. The PVC edging strips have a T-shaped connector that should slip into the aluminium channel edge of the matting panel which will lock this into position prior to any site trimmings of the profile. These edging strips should be installed in conjunction with the first and last panels. For final adjustments to the alignment of the matting ribs, use a flat head screwdriver and a nylon hammer to gently tap them into position. Finally, check that there are no trip hazards around and that the mat is secure.